Hi YouTube. <laughs> it's promised today. I promised you guys that I was gonna show you how I make my shea butter mixture for my hair and my skin and how I um make my black soap. And as you can see, I made some already, but I'm gonna revise and just show you guys how I did it. Black soap also. But I'm just going to show you like what I put in it and how I did it. So, I have some water. Got some water boiling on the stove. And let's get started. Let's see if I can turn this water down a little bit. Okay. I'm going to take this right here so that I don't get burned. And put my shea butter into this water. And we're gonna let that boil. We're gonna let it boil until it. I don't want it to get a hundred percent liquid, maybe like fifty percent liquefied. And then I'm going to take my mixer right there and I'm gonna mix it to a whipped consistency. So, what I did was put a hundred percent cocoa butter. Let me get it, show you guys. I put this this shea butter, I mean not cocoa butter. I put a hundred percent shea butter that I get from the Africans and for my black soap I also use the hundred percent black soap that I also get from the Africans. And as you guys can see, it's melting down really, really good. Oh, Oh, I'm burning up the kitchen. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is take this out. Ugh. And then I'm just gonna mix it. Trying to put it up where you guys can see it. See me, see what I'm doing and stuff. This is just lemongrass oil, just for fragrance. And I want just a little more shea butter inside. And since the container isn't that big, I might just well okay. I'm just heating up the new the new shea butter that I put inside. <laughs> What I put into my shea butter was aloe vera gel. 
olive oil and like I showed you before this oil from this lemongrass the oil off of the lemongrass is actually like it's actually a sugar scrub but I just want it for the oil on it because the oil is really really moisturizing and it smells good shea butter doesn't have such a good smell put me some aloe vera in there and I'm gonna mix Just getting off the excess. Oh, it feels so good. And this is the consistency. It's so smooth. And it smells really, really good with the lemongrass. Really good. It was either going to be that lemongrass oil or some lavender oil. But since I don't have any lavender oil and I had this this oil off of this lemongrass sugar scrub, which I used to do pedicures with, I figured I would use that. Okay, now on to my shea butter. Now on to my black soap. We finished the shea butter. Let me show you guys how it looks. And it smells amazing. So this dick on the shea butter. Let's get on to the back so It feels so good. Like so good. Let me show you guys. It feels so good on my skin. Okay. With my black soap, and I'm so ratchet. I'm so ratchet, y'all. I'm sorry for that. Now, I'm not ratchet, but I was just improvising. I did not have a bottle to put my black soap in, and I used the old witch hazel bottle. So, bear with me on that. The only thing that's in here is water and some olive oil that I got for Family Dollar for $3.50. I also got this aloe vera gel from Family Dollars also. How much it was, I'm not sure. But when I make my black soap, when I make the black soap, I use olive oil. Hmm. I just had a, a light bulb. Maybe I could put some oil from the lemongrass in it as well because it does also have a earthy like smell. So I will. Well, no. I have soft scrub. This smells like orange. And I, I forget to show you guys my package. I told you what my next video was. Well, my next video is going to be how I mix my henna and my indigo. Look, it came. My henna. And my indigo. That's going to be my next video to show you guys how I mix it together. But back to the um, black soap. So what I did with my black soap was I put water. Well, first I filled it up. I filled it up about this much with black soap. I just took the black soap and picked it 
crumbled it. You know, it's a little bitty pieces, and I put it inside. Then I fed the remainder with water to about here. Then the rest, I just used olive oil. So that's what I will be doing tonight. And then you just have to let it sit overnight and let the soap dissolve, shake it up, and it's ready to go. Hair, you can use it for your hair. You can use it for washing dishes. You can use it for body wash. I mean, whatever you need a soap for. Um, And make sure you put a lot of oil in it because it's very drying. Like, I put some in my um. A old soap, you know, hand soap pump. I put some in there and I use it in the restroom on my hands as well. And it's very drying. So that's why I added a lot of olive oil to it. And well, that concludes this video. My next video, like I said, will be of how I mix my henna. So I'll see you guys later. And see, my nails are growing, you guys. Her skinny nails. The biotin, the silica, and the um, what is it? And the MSM are really working like for my hair and everything. That'll be my next video, but I'll see you guys later. So, this video will not be as long. Bye. <laughs>